Heavenly Chaos is the latest update to ACS which introduces a bunch of new modifiers and challenges like the ones that you see on my screen right now. In this series, you'll be watching me go through my very first gameplay with Heavenly Chaos Enable while on the highest difficulty setting, which is called Tribulation 9 difficulty. You'll also be able to see me learn how to navigate and think through these new obstacles and I'll be playing more casually while doing so. Thank you for clicking the video and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Could transcribe another law. I do want to get something that has like good mental state manuals. Let's see. It's kind of hard to tell. I know Law of Nimbus has one, so this is 10 mental state. Has a cultivation speed bonus. Hmm. Maybe Jade Purity. No, not at all. All right, let's try emotion separating. Okay. That's a mental state, cultivation speed. What about true sun? Yeah, I don't know. I would have to transcribe like all of these manuals. But I do want to get the core shaper, but I'm just like, what? Like, how am I going to get the core shaper? I mean, we're at 1700. It's not horrible, but it is kind of horrible. Then I need to make sure all of these guys aren't work hard, too. So that we can hopefully get some new cultivator. But I don't know. This like this is insane. And then as I learned earlier, when I look into the wiki, their ability to get foundation experience is based on like the tile. And then on top of that is based on some other stuff like their their uh, potential level. So I'm gonna try to do a setup right here. So have some dummies. I don't think this will matter. Some J dummies over here. Why is this not being created? Spirit stone stove? That's weird. I should make a jade stove, not a spirit stone stove. Then let's unban this. I don't need these this area right here. Alright, we're at 1900 chi on tile. So I think if we do one more burst, then we can re reach the maximum value of 2500. With like a basic array after infinite chi burst. Was it day 12? Continue to cultivate. So it looks like we're doing pretty good. I mean, we got a vessel. We're cultivating. It's not going too great, but it's moving. <laughs> Things and stuff are happening. Good thing is we have all laws. So as long as we can get a primal serum by day 80, we're pretty much pretty much one, you know? As long as anything doesn't like anything crazy doesn't get us. All right. Oh, did the corpse come to life? Nice. Plop unconscious. That's kind of cool. You finally get to see it, the reanimated corpses. I wonder if they like work better or something like that. Like a puppet mastery on them. All right. Oh, they dropped soul gems. That's cool. What's this tech rumor? The founder of Blue Lotus Temple suddenly descended into the mortal world and gave a lecture to a whole site that says power strength. Others say he deceased. I'm like, whoa. The founder just died? Okay, descended. Descended, deceased, same thing. Alright, let's put this guy on mind. And then I guess start the burst array. 
Let's bring this bad boy up to 2,500. I mean, yeah, like we got the artifact. Things are going pretty well. Uh, a Yaogwai. Ooh, it's a tiger. Yes, this is perfect. Kong Chu. Which one of these humans have to go? Hmm. This one has no farming, but they have construction and cooking. Yeah, this one really just has medicine, so. Sorry, Kong Shu, but you got to go. And we're not sending you off nicely. Actually, you're, you have wood in your hand. Sorry. You don't need that where you're going. There we go. Yep. Let's get this guy going. He's come to do the Lord's work. Let's see, we've got a healer. Definitely can't be a chef, a hunter, great. I'll let him be a builder just because his stats are probably good for it. And then logger. Then he can craft, nice. Let's see, is there anything else that I need to craft? Eh, I don't know. I do want to create some more timber. Just because I don't have that much. Yeah, I only have seven pieces of timber. Wow. Let's make some more storage. Then clear out this area. Okay. Do want to clear out this as well. Huh. I wonder if the spare wood got moved over properly yet. Oh, nice. It did. 88 spare wood. Oh, we're on day 13, too. I just zoomed past day 11. I completely forgot about it. Let's see what I can get. Okay. Giant turtle shell. That's pretty good. But that's really for combat. Oh, blood talisman. Yeah, that's a great option. Another scraper? Yes. Definitely need that. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking that I'll definitely go for the blood talisman later on. Once I figure out like what I can do. All right, so the rate is now at 2,700. Nice. So now that my rate is on 2,700, is I'm at the threshold for the Infinite Cheaper, so I don't have to save and reload. But I can save and reload to refresh this iteration, so I'm going to do that first. And then it's going to start on 2,500, and then it's kind of going to like stay above there as long as I continue to like use my Chief Fountain and then just burst periodically. But I don't have to like continuously save and reload and all that. Then, so IQB Infinite Key Burst, Infinite Chi Burst is finished. All right, what's going on? What's going on? Very ominous. 2,475. We like that. Do a nice little burst. This also should be really strong in the fire fire element. You having fun. Okay, it says I need gold wood. And then I do like to have a second timber or talisman station. Talisman table. So I can create things as I need them. Let's trade these guys for some gold wood. Five gold wood. Cool.
Yeah, I'll just do seven then, I guess. Why not? Yeah, things are looking great. Alright, we got 101 timber. Nice. What's up with the stove not being built, though? That's, this is weird. It's getting weird at this point. Huh. Building requires materials. Jade. Jade blocks. I mean, it says I only have 25. Is that why? Oh, this is 32. Let's try this one last time, I guess. Alright, it says I have 57. Nice, it's being built. Okay, sometimes you gotta turn things off and turn them back on again. So this also needs Igni Copper flooring. So let's get some Igni Copper ore. Off cut, there we go. My singular Igni Copper ore. Just unban this spare wood. I don't know why I didn't click both of them. Alright, and I mean, I guess I could just have my disciples like mine out some stuff. But I don't want them to touch this just because I haven't started killing demon beasts yet. So I don't have a lot of, or I don't have any demon beast hide. Mm. No, I, I do also need to work on my farm too. So let's do that. Do a nice field for Lotus. Okay, we got a field right here. Definitely want this lotus field to be like set up before spring comes. Okay. Then if you just keep dragging from the inside, then it's just gonna expand your current selection. Yeah, this is a nice lake. Nice and thick. Got the new lake graphics. Shout out to the Thin Blood. I like to cover the lotus roots too because then that gives the disciples the options to harvest it. The ones that are already like ripe from when you start the game. So I try to get those if I can as well. Oh, this is a nice patch. Okay. Looks like I did that almost perfectly. Get some lotus. Alright, now it's time to do the wheat field. So obviously, I'm going to do the Earth Mother Shrine for wheat. I don't really mind if it's like on the outskirts too. It's so whatever. And then on top of that, of course, I want to do the spirit, uh, spirit grass area, spirit soil. Let's see, fertile soil, spiritual soil. Okay, they changed the name. It was spirit soil before. That was spiritual soil. Same thing, but a little bit different. Okay. Got some wheat over here. Try my best to get this spirit soil, but I'm not going to go too crazy about it. The spiritual soil. It's funny though, because if it's a new player, I'm like, wow, you guys abbreviated it. No, it's always been spirit soil. All right, we got this. Now, let's get this location with wheat, too. This is a nice patch, like, all the way down here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Let's remove some field. That's like overlapping the water. Then I have this big field over here, which can have wheat too. There's so much space, so much real estate. I wish I had my other cat because he would definitely be able to greatly help out with this. RIP to Earth Theory. Yeah, I mostly just focus on the green parts. Oh, I probably should be growing like ginseng and Ganoderma. Because that would just be like a more passive way. And then if I can get a good amount, then that would help out a lot. Mmm. Yeah. Let me take this patch of spirit soil and then make it a herb garden. It's very rare that I make a herb garden, but this is very going it's gonna be very useful for me hopefully it's gonna make it like more passive because i can always just find my own like against red against again on there man, but it's gonna be nice considering i have like increased cost so ginseng now let's remove this and make it link the herb garden link the let's remove this What's this? 199 space. This is 226 space. Around the same thing. And then over here, I'll do some more. Let's do some herb gardens. Needed to have that good fertility for the herbs. Okay. Let's do Lengzi. Wow. Gosh. It's been so long since I've grown this. Alright, there we go. Guess every bit counts. Unless I get beast sacrificed, then I can just get a lot effortlessly. Why not? Oh wait, this is filled. Let's do a herb garden right here. I lost track of how many of each I did. Let's just do ginseng here. Oh, I could have did stuff over here too. It's very, it has the green wheat. Not the green wheat, the green soil. Why did I say green wheat? Then, uh, I don't know, Lingzi. Alright, we got a ginseng here. That's a pretty big patch. Alright, I think this is more than enough. Especially in terms of work for my farmers. They have a lot. Alright, so you can be a farmer. Then, you're obviously a farmer. And you're a farmer. If I had a cow, this would be nice, but... It's okay. Then I do have loggers, so they could actually help out with this. Or I could just use tic-tac-toe. But I want to clear it out because I do want to collect some of the resources. That's the only benefit, like the disadvantage of not clearing it out is that you don't get resources. I want my outer disciples to be, I guess, kind of working so that there's not a lot of work for me to do later on. Well, I don't need them to clear out things, actually. I just need them to chop. Because the trees are the main things that give the cats trouble because they're just not like, I don't know, they're cats. They just can't really chop down the trees like that. So let's just do it like this. Oh, then I chopped down the ginkgo trees though. My beautiful, my beautiful ginkgo fruit farms. Okay, so there's one and then there's two. Yeah, I think I only have two on this map. Alright, I think that's good enough. All right, this guy's good. I don't want to ruin his stuff. Let's see. How's cultivation coming along, buddy? Oh, my game froze. Oh, no. Not after all of that. Come on. I just did so much work. 
That was like 10 minutes of building farm areas. All right. Let's see. Oh, we're good. That was scary. All right. Again, how's cultivation going? Okay. I mean, it's better. Definitely not the best. But, um, does he have the story tiles when he quit? No. So I forgot to even put on this. Did I forget to put on story tiles when we were supposed to transcribe? Probably. All right, this increases his base mental state, but it's a yin manual. I guess it's okay. I would probably go neutral on this guy. Just because I'm already dealing with a lot of stuff. Just increases his mental state by even more. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Feel free to leave a like or a comment to show your support, and I'll do my best to respond to them. I hope you were entertained or at least learned something, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode.